I'm no television producer, but even I knew that next level on today's show would be the overtime finish from Saturday night at Kentucky that had brothers Bush dueling for a victory for Kurt, his first win of 2019. Let's dig into this thing. Look at the players for that final restart. A couple of laps to go. Joey Logano, the race leader, takes the outside lane. Kyle Busch on the inside, and there is Kurt outside of the second row. He is the guy that's going to get it done. Take us through it, Regan. You had to believe as we go forward with the video that he knew exactly where he wanted to be going into turn one. He lays back just a little bit, but a big key of Kurt being able to lay back was the fact that behind him in the number 42 car right here is his good friend Kyle Larson. He knew that Kyle Larson was going to stick with him. That is a big key to this whole entire restart because now Joey Logano sitting here in the middle. He's in a bad spot. He doesn't have a car anywhere around him to help give him a shove. He's got this space down either side of him. That's going to close in in just a second. His car is going to be a handful as they go through turn one. Start of overtime, I say Joey Logano's going to win. Right here, I say, <laughs> no, it's going to be Eric Jones. He's on the inside, and he is flying in that 20. When he get, when he got this run, I think it kind of surprised all of us just a little bit. As, as we saw what happened with Joey Logano there, they got all bottled up. Well, now he is pointed right towards the bottom. He's going to come off the corner. He's going to stay on the line just about. He's going to try and create separation. Unfortunately, what happens is we don't see a car on his bumper back here. That's not going to give him the shove down the straightaway that he's going to need. Kurt Busch is going to be on the outside, and now he's feeling good about things because he's going to have the angle down the back straightaway and into turn three that he really wants to be able to make this win or this move for the win. I I'm 0 for 2 on picking winners. I thought it was going to be Logano. Then I said it was Eric Jones. I'm going to go 0 for 3 because right here I say it's <laughs> Kyle Busch who has the advantage. Why doesn't he slide up in front of Kurt here? Well, th this is a difficult a angle right here. What happens is there is a little bit of space back there where maybe he could get up there, take the air off of Kurt's race car. Unfortunately, Tony Hirschman is spotter. Those guys are looking from over here. They don't have a great angle on that, so he doesn't necessarily want to clear him yet. The other thing that happens is the racetrack is so flat getting into turn one at or into turn three at Kentucky that you really got to be a little bit careful with your race car as you come up off that bottom. If that car does get to your outside, it's going to create a big wreck, and we saw that Kurt had all the momentum coming to the outside of Kyle. We're going to pause it here, and I want you to show me what you see in this <laughs> shot. This really puts into perspective how tight the racing was. I absolutely love <laughs> that these guys are beating and banging down the straightaway for the win. Sparks flying. I mean, look at that. They're literally sparks were flying off of these race cars. This was a side draft battle. Both drivers knew exactly what they had to do, and Kurt talked about that. They had to side draft each other to try and get the momentum back from the other car, and it continues on all the way through turns one and two. As we see, Kurt gets down onto his door. Now he's got the momentum down the back straight away. Kurt's feeling pretty good about things right now. Same situation, though. As we get in turns three and four, it looks like from here Kyle can slide up, but just too tough to make that call from the spot. And, and probably even a little bit more room this time here. There's a little more of a gap between the two of those cars right there. Unfortunately, the spotter can't quite call it, and Kurt, to his credit, sailed that race car off in there. He had a ton of momentum as we see him gain that momentum on the outside. The contact, I, I was thinking they're going to wreck right there. I'm like, these guys are going to wreck. Thanksgiving dinner is not going to be very fun at the Bush household this year, but it wasn't too bad. They're both champions. They both have raced together a lot over the years. This was the third time they finished first and second, but the first time it's Kurt who's able to get the checkered flag.